Greetings, Ness. Please forgive my lecture earlier. You are now welcome to stay free of charge. Would you like to stay? Yes, I would. Excellent. Please make yourself comfortable. On your blue sheets. No, 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 I'm just kidding. Ha ha ha. Aw, oh, man! I liked what he did, had with the place before. I liked the blue. Now, this place is just... Onet, but... Actually, wait, wait, wait. No, it, it's not a copy of Onet. What am I talking about? Of Ness's house? No. It's, no way is that a copy of Ness's house. But now it's just... Onet. <laughs> but... With no roads, only paths. That's lame. I liked the blue, guys! That was the only thing that made this town cool, was the fact that there was blue everywhere. I liked it. Bring it back, man. Blue's not bad. It's just the fact that you were worshipping the color and being happy was bad. <sighs> man. Bring back the blue. Sheesh. They, they need a new public image, and it should be blue once again. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Earthbound. Last episode, we got Paula, a permanent party member. That is awesome, despite the fact that she's level 1. This time, we're going to be going into the second Your Sanctuary location, killing the boss and giving Paula some levels in the process. So, let's go. But, first, the eagle-eyed viewers will probably notice that Paula's defense is 10 points higher than it was. And you're absolutely right. I Off-screen, I bought Paula another copper bracelet, so she's, she's rocking that. And I moved some items around, so... I've optimized our stuff a little bit. Ness does not have any healing items anymore. Because we're kind of po past that point. There are certain healing items that I'd want to pick up because they're good. But I'm not making a habit of buying them anymore. I have the PP to sustain myself. And also, Paula is rocking Teddy Bear. She has the Cup of Life noodles because I feel like it'd be better on her. I could be wrong about that. She also has the PSI Caramel because she needs PP. I guess? I don't know, I, I just kinda, I'm pulling this stuff out of the sky, so... I gave her the PSI Caramel! Don't argue! That's how it's going to be! But, in here, we're going to be doing a, a little bit of farming. Uh, in, after we de defeat the Your Sanctuary location boss, uh, I would like to exploit that thing where all the enemies are, have their backs turned to you because we need to give Paula levels. Ness, I don't really care about. He'll he'll get some experience in the process. That's just an added perk. But Paula needs levels. She is absolutely weak and useless right now. If I were to bash this guy, I probably would do maybe four damage. And although she's not focusing on bashing, that is a good indication on how much, you know, how much damage she can do. So I guess we should just keep it at that and attack this mole playing rough. Uh, the enemies in here are weak, with the ex for the exception of one, and they'll inflict status ailments on themselves. So they give Paula a chance to stay alive. Ness and Paula gained 228 experience each. Paul's level is now 2. Maximum HP went up by 3. Paul's level is now 3. Offense went up by 2. Speed went up by 1. IQ went up by two, 1. Luck went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 2. Maximum PP went up by 5. Uh, Paula realized the power of PSI Fire Alpha. I'm already out of breath. Paul's level is now 4. Offense went up by 2. Don't really care. A defense went up by 1. Speed went up by 2. A guts went up by 2. IQ went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 2. Maximum PP went up by 5 again. Paul's level is now 5. Maximum HP went up by 3. Maximum PP went up by 2. Okay, that was kind of a mouthful, and I would like to repeat that process because she needs a couple more levels before I can feel comfortable about showing her in public. And there's no mole here. Can I get a mole? There's a mole! I didn't have to leave the cave, I just need to cycle the area off screen. Hello, mole! <laughs> you can meet my bat, just like you did a couple seconds ago. And we have the teddy bear, which will shield uh, damage that would be dealt to Paula for now. And Ness will be awesome and protect his, his girlfriend. I'm totally going to be shipping those two. Don't even act like I won't. Paul's level's now 6. Offense went up by 2. Vitality went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Luck went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 5. Maximum PP went up by 3. Paula realized the power of PSI Shield Alpha, which I don't need to explain. Let's do that again! Yay! Repetition! That's how I do things here on Pal Plays, which sounds incredibly pessimistic. 
Defend Paula. Did the claws, he tends to do that. I did the, the 64 damage, because I tend to do that too. Let's just keep on keeping on. And all oh, the teddy bear's gone. That's kind of concerning, but this level up should keep Paula frosty. As long as she isn't insta-killed in battle, I am perfectly fine with having Nest donate all of his PP to healing her. Paul's level is now 7. Offense went up by 1. Speed went up by 1. Guts went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Luck went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 1. Maximum PP went up by 5. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's neat. She's... She kind of skyrocketed there. Look at these stats. They're... I mean, there's still something to, to laugh at, but they're better. In fact, here's something I need to point out. Look at Ness's maximum PP. It's 54. Now, and he's level 19, mind you. Now look at Paula's maximum PP. It's 30, and she's only level 7. She isn't even half his level, and she almost has as much PP as him. This is to give you some indication of how much PP she will have once she's on even terms with him. It will be insane. You thought 54 was a lot of PP? You do not know what a lot of PP is, son. You will know milking this too much, but if I were forced to choose, Paula would probably be my favorite party member because she can throw out damage. It's crazy how much damage she can deal and, you know, have pretty much no cost for it. If you manage your PP well, you will never regret Paula. You'll never look at your party and say, oh yeah, I have Ness, he's a beast. But then I have Paula, and she's okay. You'll never say that. You will never say it. Okay, uh, these are a little bit too, too many enemies for Paula right now. I want to... Yeah, that's good. Shave it down to one. Those, uh, those are baddies or something like that. They are pretty much just another mole playing rough, except they fly and they appear in swarms. That's pretty much it. They'll inflict status ailments on themselves just like the mole. They'll do everything that the mole does. I think they might do a tad less damage, though. I'm not sure. And I won, because I tend to do that. Paul's level is now 8. Offense went up by 1. Defense went up by 2. That's good. Speed went up by 2. Maximum HP went up by 2. Maximum PP went up by 1. Uh, Paula realized the power of PSI Thunder Alpha. Now that I got that, I will explain the last two psychic abilities that I have gotten. I got PSI Fire Alpha, which will attack, fi uh, attack with fire on a row of enemies. They'll all take about 80 points of damage. This is what I was talking about a couple episodes ago about how planes in battle matter. Um, if, if enemies are all arranged side by side, you can use PSI Fire to attack them all. And it, once again, it has a low, uh, a low PP cost, so if you can manage to get a group like that, you should use this. PSI Freeze is for when there's only one enemy and you want to, him, to, want to kill him quickly. Then there is PSI Thunder. The enemy is thunderstruck for about 120 points of damage. You may miss if there are a few enemies. It eliminates a psychic or psychic power shield. So the more enemies there are on the battlefield, the higher chance this has of hitting. It isn't a single target attack. It isn't a targeted attack at all. It will randomly hit one of the enemies on the battlefield, but it doesn't have a 100% chance of doing so. And that outweighs the damage because the damage is a lot. You will do a ton of damage with this. 100, 120 for a PP cost of 3? That's incredible, but you don't have a 100% chance of hitting, so the pros uh, uh, balance out the cons. So, that's it. We get, she got shield alpha, but I've already explained that in the past, so I don't feel the need to do it here. Ness open the present. There's a great charm inside. Ness takes it, because of course he would. Why wouldn't he? And I want to give that great charm to Paula. If I can, give Paula. And now equip. Because that will raise our stats a little bit. It'll raise our defense by one, but it has an unseen set stat change. Uh, it will increase her speed by five. So that can be useful, but the one defense is really why I'm equipping it to her right now. Because she needs it. Every little bit helps, and I don't want her dying because that would stink hardcore. I mean, we have our cup of life noodles, but I really want to save that for semi-late game or for an emergency. Not for something where the only the only 
factor deciding me using it is time, amount of time for me to undo the unconsciousness, I'd rather save it for an emergency. And it's gone! Probably get another level up. I don't really need to commentate all of this because it's pretty much farming. So I will talk about something else. N uh, Lucas was just confirmed for Smash 4, which I kind of called it? I mean, since they released Earthbound on the Virtual Console, they kind of need some advertisement for it. And while Ness was a great advertisement, a lot of people like Lucas from Brawl. He's a fun character. And he's going to be in Smash 4. I'm not sure how good he's going to be, because they they seem to be kind of removing as many advanced techniques from Smash 4 as they can, but he could be good. Paul's level is now 9. Offense went up by 1. Guts went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Luck went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 2. Maximum PP went up by 4. And by advanced techniques, I'm talking about um, Lucas, Lucas has a couple of advanced techniques unique to him. I won't go too... I won't bore you with too many details because uh, I should go back and get, grab that present because I don't want to bore with you too many details and not all of you you know are interested in hearing about advanced technique but many times people don't want to learn advanced techniques because they like playing smash you know for fun because they like playing casually but even if you're a casual player if you play Lucas you should learn these techniques because they're easy to master and they're incredibly fun. I, pl I play Lucas when I play Brawl. I don't play it that often. I'd rather, rather play Project M. But when I play Brawl, I play Lucas because his techniques are fun. Um, what you do is with his side B, PK Fire, you can uh, use it in midair and then immediately use his down B, PSI Magnet. And it will launch him across the stage. I'm not talking about a little bit. I'm talking about far. It legit pulls him really far, and you can revert, reverse it to go different directions, and it's a fantastic recovery move and a great move for mind games. You can even finish combos with it sometimes. It's really risky though, but it's a great move, and I love playing around with it because it makes Lucas's recovery one of the most unique and uh, varianted, I don't know, variable, I, I don't know the term for that. It has the most variety, that's what I'm trying to say. Because, I mean, think about it. He's not just using his up B. He's flying across the stage without even using his double jump. Then he's using his double jump. And then he's using up B. And there's a croissant. Not really worth it, but whatever. I won't complain. There's another technique with him um, where you, if you jump and then input side B within one frame, that's 160th of, of a second of you jumping, um, he'll launch himself in the air and pretty much triple the height of his midair jump. Once you master that, I mean, it's hard to get it wrong. And it's, it's also fun because it adds to his already fantastic recovery. So he has a jump, which can be tripled. He has a magnet pull, which increases his horizontal recovery. And then he has his up B, which is pretty much almost impossible to edge guard. Paul's level is now 10. He also has a tether. Offense went up by 1. Speed went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 1. Maximum PP went up by 5. So I hope they keep his, his techs, because those, those were a blast. Have I said they were a blast enough? Because I don't think I have. They were a blast. Alright, let's move on. Paula is now level 10, and this is an enemy that you want to be very wary of facing. And I would like to use that croissant on Paula now, because I don't want to waste PP. Especially when I have a free croissant. Paula, use that croissant, girl! And I could have done it from Ness's inventory. Paul's HP, HP is maxed out. Awesome. And this is a mighty bear. It's Yogi, the billowing bear. Uh, yeah, I'm going to defend here. Paul's on guard, Ness attacks, does a lot of damage. The bear's attacking, does 21 damage to Ness. Why would you attack Ness when Paul is sitting right there? Fighting attack, once again. Why are you attacking Ness? You can just attack Paula. He's doing a lot of damage, though, to Ness. So, I'm tempted. No, 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 I'm not going to lure be lured into that. Okay. 12 damage to Paula, really? That's interesting. When you were doing 50 damage to Ness, you turn around and do 12 damage to Paula. Okay. Uh, oh wow! 
That's a rare drop. That's one in 64 chance of a teddy bear dropping, but I'll take it. That's nice. And believe it or not, but Ness needs needs healing after that. That was pretty brutal. Those enemies are good. Better than, better than I thought. But we have a teddy bear now, so they shouldn't be damaging us a whole lot. And they give a lot of experience. Ooh, there's a butterfly. They give a lot of experience, so why not? In fact, nope. Nope, I'm not going to do it. I keep wanting to have Paula show him her stuff, but nope, not, I'm not doing it. Uh-uh. Oh, wait, yeah, I have a teddy bear. <laughs> Let's forget my strategy. I'm using Freeze Alpha on him for the first time. PSI Freeze Alpha does 130 damage and makes him tame. Paula's just making friends with all sorts of bears. Okay, uh, who is hurting? Is no one hurting? I really want someone to be hurting. Paula's hurting a little bit. Let's use life up on Paula and then grab a butterfly. Butterfly, butterfly. And I went into a dead end. Maybe. No, I didn't. I sort of did. There's a bear. Hello, bear. Didn't get a green swirl, but you'll die anyway. Bash. Um, you know what? You only live once, so use your life recklessly. Freeze Alpha! Will it solidify him? Survey says... No! <laughs> and he didn't attack Paula any- why is- why is the bear not attacking Paula? There's a good chance that he could insta-kill her, I don't know. Ness's level is now 20! Oh, baby! Offense went up by 3, defense went up by 2, guts went up by 2, oh baby, vitality went up by 3. IQ went up by 2. Sweet! Maximum HP went up by 40? Okay. Ness, I guess you wanted us to notice that you're still relevant. It isn't just Paula now. It's Paula and you, and you won't ever let us forget, it, forget that. Maximum PP went up by 6! Ness realized the power of life up B, uh, B, beta. Paul's level is now 11. Offense went up by 1. Speed went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 1. Maximum PP went up by 1. I said both, both times, but forget it. Paula realized the power of PSI Freeze Beta. So, huh, we're already learning beta, beta psychic moves. Uh, can I get a description on those, please? I'm curious. Uh, bit, 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 bit. Covers 300 HP to one person for the PP cost of 8. Well then, that's pretty good. This does 100, this does 300. Okay, what about Paula here? Paula, you learned a move. <laughs> Even though this is the first episode that I have you, you already learned the better version of PSI Freeze. For the PP cost of 9, causes a very cold wind to swirl around one enemy, inflicting about 360 points of damage. May freeze the enemy completely. Okay then. Um... Yeah, that's a lot of damage, so when we encounter the boss, um, he's getting a taste of that, because by then, Paula should be healthy enough. Ooh, enemies! All of you attack me for my pleasure. Hello, my name is Mr. Twisty, and I'll twist you all into bunches of cheese. I don't know. PSI Fire Alpha, I'm bringing out the big guns, does 60 damage to the mole playing rough and 52 damage to the bear. And PSI Rockin' Alpha comes out, does 57 damage, kills the mole playing rough, and almost kills the bear. Oh, and he kills the teddy bear. Okay, I was worried that that was Paula. Let's just bash him. Maybe. Bash. Him. Nice. That was pretty good. It's, it's not often that I get to bring out the big guns. Um... Actually, I believe that there was a spot here where butterflies would always spawn. There it is, just like in Giant Step. Oh, yeah. Uh, life up on Paula. And then she was already maxed out. Oops. Let's use it on me. Yeah, and get that butterfly. So this is not another infinite butterfly location, so you abuse it. Not even joking, if you want Paula to get beastly, then just stay here. Farm on enemies. In fact, you know what? I think I will. Moles, get over here. Come here. Yeah, you too. 
In fact, you know what? Since I'm so close and these are a lot of enemies, boom, boom, bang. And Paula, I'm going to show off one of your other other moves. Thunder. Thunder, does it hit? Yes, it does. 122 damage and insta-kills the mole playing rough. And they do no damage and they do no damage. Actually, you did a lot of damage because you're bully bear and you do damage. Okay, let's bash and, um... Defend! Why not? Because I'm worried. Yeah, I'm worried. They were going to try it and they are going to miss because that's what they do. Okay, bash and... Freeze! Alpha! And it's interesting because Paula is already faster than Ness. Her turns are going first, and she is level 10 to his level 20? Oh, sorry, sorry. She had to correct me there. She's level 12. Oh, baby offense went up by 3, speed went up by 1, guts went up by 2, vitality went up by 2, IQ went up by 2, oh, baby luck went up by 3. Sweet! Maximum HP went up by 23. That rocks! Maximum PP went up by 9. This is kind of interesting, because nothing much is happening this episode, but I'm excited, because this is one of the few times in the game that I can grind and be justified. Like, every guide you pretty much ever read about this area says, Hey, you, with the face, grind at this area to get Paula healthy. I'm like, bro, you don't even need to tell me twice. I would do that anyway. So... This is really my my comfort food episode. I talked about Dokapon a little while ago, but now that doesn't compare with boom, boom, bang. I won't go back to for the butterfly because I would stay here forever farming. I just want to kill this guy quickly. Ugh, that's damage. You do damage, sir. That's that's a fact. I'm not I'm not insulting you. I'm not complimenting you. I'm just stating a fact. You do damage, and I did damage too. I, well, that's one thing I like. I don't, I don't know, if you look at this game's core, it's a very funny game. And it doesn't counteract that by having you kill the enemies. You're making, you are making them tame, you're not killing them. So, I can feel good about this. I don't, I don't have to feel like Ness is going through murdering a bunch of animals, because he's not. He's just making them tame. With a baseball bat. It's not, nothing wrong. He's not doing anything wrong, he's just helping them. Right? I mean, come on. They're playing rough, they were turned evil by Gygus, he's not killing them because of it, he's just making them see the error of their ways. So it all works out. Chain of execution! Boosh! Yeah! How much experience left? Curious, a little bit, okay. We're probably to the sanctuary boss, pretty soon. It's a lot of enemies, that's a lesser amount of enemies, kinda wanna fight the ones up there. No, I need to conserve my PP. I don't even know if where I'm going leads to a dead end. It could. Let's bash, and let's bash, because Paula is now healthy. She's she's high enough level that she can do damage. See, look at that. Look at it. She did 47. That's nothing to laugh at. She's standing on her own two feet. And this is just the first episode that we actually have her and are using her. So, it doesn't take long for her to become relevant. And her bash attacks aren't totally useless which is neat. I have to say, if I were forced to choose, Paula would be my favorite party member. She would. It's true. She totally would. Uh, Bear. Um, yeah. Goodbye, Bear. I don't want to fight the Bear. A lot of bats over there. You know what? I'll fight the Bear. Why not? I always fight the Bear. It's true. In every Let's Play I've ever done, I've fought a Bear. That's not true at all. Don't listen to me. I am a horrible person and a liar, and I should feel sorry for myself. Did I pray? Did I? <laughs> I'm not sure. I may have chosen to pray. I haven't explained that though. Paula has a special ability called pray. It will do a ran. It has a random effect that's completely randomized, where it could de it could deal damage to all enemies on screen. It could heal all of your allies. I believe it can deal damage to yourself. Maybe it can do all sorts of random things, and it's not completely useless. Useless, and I will be using it in the Let's Play someday. Paul's level is now 13. Maximum HP went up by 2. Maximum PP went up by 2. Okay, what does this present hold for us? It holds a PSI Caramel. That is not bad. In fact, let me give that to Paula. That I, I kind of like that. I have two Caramels now. Caramel's good. It's... I would have to say it's one of the more underrated desserts because it's just so delicious. Okay, we need to heal up here. 
Yeah, we need to heal up. Uh, who needs it? He needs it besides Ness. She doesn't really need it. She's only four shy. Um, do I want to get another level up before I do this? Um, no, I'm good. Uh, let's use Life Up Alpha on Ness. And that should be enough. Should be enough. I'm really considering using it again. No, I think we're fine. If we take it one hit, I'll probably use it. Let's fight this guy. Let's use it again. <laughs> uh, PSI, life up. Ness. Okay, now I feel good. Now let's fight this guy. You finally got here. This is the second your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Mundo Mole attacked. So, a bloodthirsty mole playing rough. Good to know. Now, one thing about this boss is that it has a glaring weakness. It is weak to PSI Flash Alpha. But more importantly, and what I'm going to be using instead, is Paralysis. It has a 99% chance of working. Boom. And Paula, um... Yeah, let's defend with Paula until he's paralyzed, because I don't want her being one-shotted. Yeah. Good idea. On guard, Claude did 74 damage. That would have killed Paula, for sure, so I'm glad I did that. Became numb. Um, you know, I don't have to worry about life up, though I will use life up because I am... Nest needs to stay alive. Life up, and for her, she can come out full swinging... Is that even a term? I don't know. Swinging hard with PSI Freeze Beta. PSI Frieza... Uh, Frieza? Wow. <laughs> that's... That's a voice mess up for the books. PSI Frieza. <laughs> that's... That's too good. Um... You know, just because I'm feeling about over... Feeling like doing some overkill. Paula, have a psychic shield. Or a physical shield, rather. And Paula, do this again. Boom. She'll be doing most of the damage of the group from now on. Oh, wait, no, she's not. She's doing 20 da 21 damage. Why did I not notice that? Okay, uh, bad idea. I believe he might be weak to fire. I don't know. Let's bash away with Ness and use fire. Let's let's try it. I'm curious. It might do less damage. It might do more. 29 damage. That's, that's a lot more. Okay, I feel better about that. He's still numb, can't move. I feel like bashing with both characters, just to see how it compares. Okay, it doesn't. She does two damage, and he does smash attack for 158 damage. So he's still doing the majority of the damage. Let's have her do up another fire, because that did that did better, more damage than any of her other abilities. So fire does 26 damage. Now. Just let me know that this is a bad idea in any other circumstance, because fire doesn't do... It doesn't do its maximum potential against one enemy. It's only doing, you know, it's only doing one enemy, when it can attack unlimited, pretty much. So, it's not your best... It's not in your best interest, but it's better than using freeze, because apparently this enemy is resistant to it. So, let's just keep on with that uh, PSI fire, shall we? PSI Fire does damage, 29. Ness attacks does 55. He's still numb and can't move because he can't get out of this paralysis. So, it's pretty much dead. Once you use paralysis, it's game for, the, for this guy, which is sad. Fire Alpha does damage again. Oh! Okay, he's still paralyzed, though. He still is. Uh, he was just trying to bash before, but it doesn't bar him from using psychic abilities. Paula is out of PP. I'm not using a caramel on her because the battle's almost over. I'm just going to bash. I'm going to defend because I'm nervous. Still numb. Okay, I just want to make sure. And he's tame, so I had nothing to worry about. Easy battle. Very easy. Once that paralysis came out, he, he couldn't do damage to me. Ness's level is now 21. Luck went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 2. Maximum PP went up by 1. Paul's level is now 14. Speed went up by 2. IQ went up by 2. Maximum PP went up by 2. Maximum PP went up by 3. And that's the second Your Sanctuary location.
Ness briefly had a vision of a baby in a red cap. Ness's soundstone recorded the mel melody of the Lilliput steps. We have one, another sanctuary location under our belt. Next time, we're going to be returning to Tucson, telling Paula's family that she's alive and well, and then hopefully moving on to try and find the third Your Sanctuary location. We're becoming really powerful. We truly are. That battle was proof of it. We were doing a lot of damage. And we got some big level ups this episode. Paula especially. She went up 13 levels in just one area. So, you can only imagine, with this power that she has now, how much it's going to grow over the next couple of episodes. Same with Ness. They're both becoming really, really strong. I can't wait to see how this progresses. I release new episodes of Earthbound Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, and if you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then comment and tell me how I can make the next episode so that you would like it. I will see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Earthbound.